So today we're going to be changing the oil in the Sherp. I am going to skip the parts about removing the panels, that type of thing, because that's fairly easy. So we'll get right to it. So what we're going got going on here real quick is we're trying to go, pardon the light in the back of it, but this little hose that's right here sits in the back part of that frame. This goes to the bottom of the engine. And what we do to change the oil then is take one of these little gadgets cost about 50 bucks a little oil pump at the fleet farm you just pump that sucker up when you do it like that it creates a vacuum if you listen real carefully right now you hear that crack 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 thing that's right now it's sucking air in the bottom of the unit hopefully you can see that right in the bottom there that is the oil filter so, so what we're doing right now is getting towards the bottom of the engine. Normally you wouldn't see any bubbles as it's coming out, but because we're getting a little bit of air, you might be seeing some bubble action there. Then we went and got ourselves a nice brand spanking new wick oil filter. And I am choosing to use Rotella synthetic we have the engine on the bottom the v1505 dash te3 and as you can clearly see from this we should be using 1.77 u.s gallons not going to bore you with the oil filter you spin off the old spin on the new go to the top of the engine remove the oil cap put in your oil and you are raring to go